Okay, so we're back for a new whack -a boss although this time we're not even doing a boss. We're just doing a five-way legion. So uh, I'm going to order these real quick in the order of uh, least to most expensive. So this, this is the cheapest ones. These are the most expensive ones as far as the emblems go in any given league. Uh, that's not necessarily because of the, um, the things that they drop but generally it's based on the rarity of the emblems uh, or the splinters that you make them out of. So in order to get this five slot map device, you have to use a four-way legion. You can join someone else's, you can do it yourself. You could do a five-way legion if it was somebody else's. Obviously you can't run your own five-way legion without a five-way map device. Um, so generally the one you want to skip is the Marraketh one because it's the more expensive one uh, just to get your unlock. That's all you really have to do. But this can be a great zone for uh, getting XP. This is also how you get your Timeless Jewels. So let's say you wanted uh, the Karui Timeless Jewel, which is the... Um, good god, why does the name ex escape me now? Let's, okay, let's say you want a Glorious Vanity from this one. You might farm these two because they're the cheapest, or these three just because they're really cheap and skip out on the expensive ones just to farm these ones, just to get that timeless jewel that you really need for the glorious vanity, for example. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and show you how five-way works. Uh, now the best thing to do here is to get someone who is a five-way carry with a, a headhunter. I make sure I have one on my friends list every league, um, and who has an actual like build that is good for doing these. Um, good goodness, load please, please squares. Okay, so um, <laughs> we're gonna load. We're gonna load this the square on the ground. I, I guess not. Okay. So you see, there is a statue in the middle. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna stand in this. And normally, what you would do is you you would have two people, and the one person's gonna go around with their headhunter, go burr, and they're gonna clear everything, get really big, and probably lag out the instance. And then the other person is just gonna go ahead and they're going to do what's called resetting. Now, um, when you're resetting, what you're going to do is you're basically going to stand in the circle until it pops. And then you're going to leave the circle, and then you're going to go back into the circle. And as soon as you leave the circle, you can go back in. You just need to make sure nobody is standing in the circle when you leave it, otherwise it's not going to like work properly. Uh, but the goal is just you're going to be going in and out of the circle, waiting for the pop, and then uh, that keeps respawning the mobs. So what, what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spawn the first wave. We're gonna go and we're gonna do this really inefficiently, but we're gonna go kill all of the bosses. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna reset five times. And uh, I think that that should respawn each of the bosses. I'm not entirely sure if that's how it works. I don't think it's a one-to-one -one per se, um, but uh, it has diminishing returns now and the way it works though, like, it, it's kind of weird, but we get five minutes to kill as much stuff as we can, get as much loot as we can. Uh, the encounter doesn't fail per se, as long as you're in the zone when the counter timer ends, uh, you get that five-way map device from your four-way or five-way. So we're just going to go here and you can see there's that pop, and we're going to see that a little bit better on the actual resets. But you can go open your map and you can see these green icons representing the bosses, and they, you know, they're pretty tanky. This one in particular is uh, probably the worst one as far as killing it. Uh, but you're just going to go around, you're going to kill them. If you can kill the other mobs, you can get more loot. That's great. Killing mobs, getting loot is amazing, right? Two. Uh, but generally, yeah, when you're playing Headhunter yourself and trying to, like, go burr, you're just going to be using your map to try and find the bosses based on these green icons. And they're going to spawn each in their own respective individual corners. Some of the bosses are going to spawn with loot tags. You can see those are gathering at the bottom. We're getting all the loot at the end of the encounter for this one. She, there she is. The faster you go, the better, of course. Uh, I think, yeah, you do have to kill her in both forms for uh, for Sekma. All right, so now we're gonna go perform resets. So we see the pop, we dash out, and you can see that we didn't actually dash out all the way. So what's actually better is you want to walk out and then dash in, because as soon as you've walked out, it'll it'll reset the circle. I believe we're at like three or four right now for five. So normally you just have someone doing this non-stop during the entire encounter. And um, then you should have no problem while the other person's killing all the mobs. So because they're doing that non-stop throughout the encounter, you're gonna keep spawning the bosses and then the other person will ideally keep killing the bosses at zoom zoom speed with their zoom zoom headhunter build. 
And with all the rares that are constantly being respawned, you're getting a lot of headhunter buffs. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you can't do it without headhunter. It's just, you know, the, the, we've got like a full loot bar here already, and we're only two minutes in. Uh, so it's not like the end of the world if you can't get someone with a headhunter, but if you do, you can get much more rewards than uh, you otherwise would this way. Alright, uh, so it looks like we didn't actually reset that last boss, so let's just go ahead and do some more resets. And I found Smoke Mine is the best, because while you're waiting on inside the circle, you can place your mine, and then you can detonate your mine once you walk out, and it feels so good. You get right into the rhythm, and um, you're going to have no problems resetting. You see, I just kind of walked out there, dudded one of the respawns. That wasted a little time, right? So you want to avoid doing that at all of the costs. Okay, we're going to go kill Sekma first, because he is giving us some trouble with those immortality statue things. Not really sure what the mechanic on those statues is. Uh, I think the idea is you have to hit them from a direction that is not where the statues are blocking, but I'm also not entirely sure. It's a bit of a weird mechanic. Um, where is he here? Just gonna try and burst him down. Where did he go? Oh my goodness. Uh, it might just be that you need to destroy each of the statue. I'm not really sure. Um, if someone knows how that mechanic works, uh, it would be great if you could put it in the comments because I actually don't know that one very well. Whereas you can see most of these other bosses, they just have very basic attacks, uh, big AoEs, uh, so hitting them from range generally better or just nuking them are the good solutions for these ones. And of course if you're tanky like I am, and melee, well, you, you don't really have much option but to just stand there and hit them. <laughs> Watch out, fire bow thing, dash over that, you know. You know it. Okay, looks like we have time to do some more resets. Let's see if we can get one more set of five done before end. And you can start walking out before it pops if you're, like, really fast, like that. Uh, I see I failed the first time, but I got it that second time there, and uh, that can be really good. Um, you can increase your speed drastically, but of course you have to really get the timing down, get into the rhythm to do something like that. Okay, yeah, looks like we just shatter the statues on the sides, and then we're good to keep DPSing him. Just by going on each of the sides of him and then hitting him. And I don't think we're going to quite get to two loot bars, but I believe when you're using a headhunter, you're usually going to get up to three or... Um, four loot bars, uh, although it's kind of hard to um, get a lot more than that because of the diminishing returns, but it is still much more loot than uh, I'm going to be getting here. Um, I think that I'll likely get uh, somewhere between zero and uh, two jewels, uh, whereas when you run with uh, someone with Headhunter, you're probably expecting to get somewhere between one and uh, five jewels. Generally speaking. Uh, okay, we got a little bit of time for a reset here, perhaps. Let's see if we can go kill this dude real quick. Oh, he's got a currency on him. That would be cool if we could. Burst, 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 burst. Doesn't look like we're going to make it there. Unlucky. Alright, looks like we got something. There's a brutal restraint, so we got one jewel. It is the Mariketh one, so that's pretty good. Oh, no, sorry, we got two. We got an elegant hubris. So not bad, considering it was a solo run with no headhunter. And we just take a quick look around here, grab some incubators. You can get a lot of incubators. And you can see I got a pretty strict filter. If I press Alt, there's a lot of bullshit on the ground. Gotta have a good filter for this stuff. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And yeah, you can see there's not really much else of crazy value that I'm gonna bother picking up. I'll grab the maps just because might as well. Uh, but if you were to actually go and pick up all the things, uh, you would easily, like, if I was to go and I was to be like, okay, I'm going to pick up all the Cobalt Jewels, all the Crimson Jewels, we're going to get some bulk of those, those those will sell well in bulk, and we're going to get, like, uh, you know, we're going to pick up all the Chaos Shards, all the Chance Orbs, all the Jewels Orbs, all the Chromatic, like, you can end up with a full inventory very quickly just off of one of these runs, and honestly, that, that can be pretty good if you're just selling, like, a bunch of, bunch of random shit in bulk, that, that can add up pretty quick, right, so... Uh, it's a lot of mobs. It's a very good way to complete your incubators as well as get incubators, uh, as well as a good way to uh, get some XP going on your gems or your gear. Uh, but that's a five-way legion. Hopefully that helped, and have a good one.